Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to bring you the new programs and curriculums we are going to be using for the year 2022 and 2023. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emma. If you are new, welcome. I have a 10 year old boy about to be 11 very soon. Today, I want to bring you the curriculums and programs that we are going to be using for the year 2022 and 2023. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do it. Click that notification bell so you don't miss every time I upload a video. As well, I invite you to go through my Instagram page and there is where I share everything that happens here in our homeschool. If you're looking for ideas, that's a good place to get them. I will start sharing everything with you guys in the order that we usually take the subjects, which is a starting with Bible. Some of the materials that you are seeing, that you're about to be looking at, are materials that we have used in the previous year. It's just, I wanted to put a little bit less of a load uh, when it comes to the subjects and materials. I think that if I have learned something is the fact that less sometimes is more. So you will see that I will not be using some of the materials that we were using before. I am very glad and happy about that decision. We both agree that that was the best thing. He needed a little bit more of time and I think that having less materials for us to use will be better. Uh, again, as I said, less is more. I think that this will be a good year to just try to take it a little bit slow. I want to have more time to be outside, enjoy nature, do some trips as well as some units and projects that I would like to do more hands on on the materials that we want to be using. Let's just start with Bible. For Bible, we are going to continue with prayers and promises for boys. This is a book that I like to use just to complement the other books, not that the other books need anything in particular, but it's just, it's a good uh, book and it's just more meant for boys. If you look at the design, it's just so simple and it has a Bible verses as well. It goes through the character study. It's a very simple book and I liked it. I really enjoy this book. We are going to continue using this book. As well, I have in here our Bible Made Easy. This is the Bible Made Easy. It's a book that we have used already and we are going to continue using this book. We haven't finished. We have quite a lot to go. And I decide not to use more than words because I think that, as I said, he needs a little bit more of a break. I We need more time to go outside and enjoy nature. And we were doing quite a lot. So I decide just to stay with the Bible Made Easy. And it's a book that has been going really well for us. It's very simple to understand and it's something that he's been enjoying. I've been able that, to create activities as well related to this book. So we are going to continue with this one. Now we're going to start with language arts. And for language arts, you know, you guys know that we've been using All About Reading from All About Learning Press. We are going to continue with them. We are on level three. I don't think we are going to be able to finish this level before we start our new homeschool year. I think we're going to continue. Uh, the plan is for me to try to see if we can just go a little bit more ahead for the summer, but I think uh, it's a program that we're going to continue. I have already, obviously, because we are almost about to reach half of the book, we are going to be needing the, the next level. So I have the next level here and that'll be all about reading level four. So here I have the readers. As you can see, this is a good program. It's a program that has been working for my kid. We've been enjoying all about reading from the beginning. We start from level one and this will be the last level. And I am a little bit nervous because I don't know what am I going to do when he finishes with all about reading. I have some plans already, but I am, I don't have anything secure. So I just want to get prepared mentally. I know that we've been enjoying this program a lot. It's a program that he likes. He likes the activities, how 
colorful is the program. I like the detail in the instructions for the parent to be able to teach your kid as well we like the activity book that is just so awesome this program is being so good for us and we are going to continue with all about reading this will be our last level and we are very happy about it the next program that we are going to be continuing and is from the same company is all about spelling all about spelling is a program that has been working very well for us it is goes very well obviously with the all of our reading and we like to continue it serves us as a review as well so we would like to continue with all about spelling i am on all about spelling level three with my kid and i think we're going to continue with all about spelling level three for our next year uh, we are already i think it's on step a obviously this book doesn't come with a lot of lessons i think it's 25 lessons so we are going to be uh, ending needing the next level so i have the next level here and this will be all about spelling level four and let me just show you that one now so here i have all about spelling level four obviously all about spelling doesn't come with activities it just goes straight to the instructions when it comes to teaching your kid spelling as well it's a program that has been working for us obviously i will be creating some activities and i will be looking for those activities in their website in the all about learning press website and that is how I've been working with this program it's been working like that for us and I will continue with it as well another program that we're going to continue is with all about homophones again from the all about learning press <laughs> I been enjoying this program a lot with my kid he's been enjoying this program he already did all the ones that needed to be done for grade fourth he will be doing now grade five and that's why we continue with this book so we are going to uh, enjoy this book a lot it has activities as well it has games and just uh, things to make them understand the homophones it has riddles as well it's a very good program and i think it goes very well with what we're doing with language arts we've been doing you guys know that we've been doing <laughs> fix the grammar for grammar it's a program that has been working for us it's from the iew company we were doing the nose tree and i think that it works very well he is been enjoying that program so I would like to continue with IEW Physic Grammar. This time will be the town mouse and country mouse. And I have it right here. It's a steel wrap if you notice, but I will be opening and just showing you guys. It's a very good program. I will be giving a flip through the pages of this program and I can't wait to start. He's been enjoying the nose tree and I am pretty sure he is going to enjoy this one as well. And continue with IW and language art is all things fun and fascinating. I was just hesitating in between Bible heroes. He has been doing the people and places in our community. He's been working very well with the program. So I was just not sure if I was going to purchase Bible heroes or if I was going to jump straight into all things fun and fascinating. I saw the guy for the all things fun and fascinating and I saw that it was not as detailed as the people in places in our community. So it was making me hesitate in a little bit, but I already had the all things fun and fascinating. There's no reason for me to spend more money. I think this will work well for us. I just have to adjust myself. I have the teacher training, so that will be good for us and I think it'll be a good idea just to start with all things fun and fascinating and just work our way with the program I think it's been working very well for my kid I have seen improvement and I see the changes so I think we're going to be working very well with this program okay next one will be and continue with writing will be for his penmanship and we are going to continue with cursive we are doing pen time I want to give him as well practice with his manuscript because his manuscript tend to be a little bit sloppy now getting a little bit sloppy so I think we're going to do a mix in between cursive and printing that's the way that we've been doing uh, that we've been doing with his uh, penmanship all this time we've been doing 
uh, printing and cursive, more concentrated on his cursive. So I think I will be doing as well pen time for manuscript. You will be looking at that book. I will just show you that book here, the one that we are going to be using because I haven't received it yet. But this is what we're going to be looking at, Pentan for Cursef. Uh, this is the book that I purchased a while ago, but we didn't get to, to use it. So we're going to be using it this year. I hope so. And it's going to be really good. This one is Pen Time 4 and uh, it's I am pretty sure it's going to work very well for us. I think it will go very well with our geography because it talks about the states and it has some uh, activities to do. It's very detailed. I like the way that is, uh, that is the, the cursive in here. And that's why I chose it. I like the way that he can just go inside the letter to practice and I think that's actually better than what I have seen normal with the cursive programs. And I think it will work very well for him. The next subject that I am going to be talking is math. We've been using Simply Good and Beautiful Math for second grade. I use it as a review. We were using as well teaching textbooks. We are no longer using teaching textbooks. We are just continuing with Simply Good and Beautiful. My son will be in fifth grade, but I am going to be using third grade. I noticed some gaps on him. I think the fact that I switched from Abeka to teaching textbooks and Simply Good and Beautiful. It's just create some gaps. So I just want to continue with Simply Good and Beautiful. I noticed that it's been working very well for him. He enjoys the program. He actually asked to be doing math. He likes the activities, how colorful is the program. I like as well that it's been working very well when it comes to uh, skip counting and learning the month of the year as well as uh, is he's starting already with multiplications. He is been practicing as well the shapes and as well as the uh, fractions that he was having a little bit of trouble with that. He's been understanding now that he's been doing that program. So I want to continue with Simply Good and Beautiful. So we purchased Simply Good and Beautiful 3. And this is the program that we are going to be using. Simply Good and Beautiful is been working for us. So we are going to continue with level three. It's a very colorful program. I like the activities is just great. I like that it has a lot and works a lot with fractions, patterns. I, it has a lot of uh, multiplication for him to practice division. It's just so great for my kid. And I think it's going to work very well for him. So we're going to continue with Simply Good and Beautiful. As well for his math, I decided to purchase this notebook. This is a graphic notebook. And what I like about this math book is that the squares are pretty big. If you notice here, it's a half inch squares. And I think this will help him to keep a little bit more organized when it comes to writing stuff for his math and for him to be more organized when it comes to create the problems. I think it, it'll help him to see better what he's doing when it comes to math. So we decide to purchase this one. The next subject that I am going to be talking is history. And you guys know that we've been using Story of the World for History. It's a program that has been working for us. We love the activities. We enjoy the storybook. And it's just working very well for us. We haven't finished. We continue with Middle Ages for a story of the world. But I decide to finish this one. And the next time that we purchase the book, it'll be just a storybook because I decide to start. And this is an add on. And it's because we enjoy a lot. Obviously, history is history is one of the subjects that we really like to get really deep in. So I decide to purchase as well this history and this will work very well. And it is America's Story 1. I decide to go with them because it follows kind of like the same pattern when it comes to uh, history, when it comes to the way that they introduce history to kids, which is in a narrative. And I like that. My son enjoys that. So I hope this program is going to work very well for us. Obviously, I purchased 
other uh, books that will go well with this program uh, just to enhance a little bit more the program not that it needs anything else but i think it will work very well for us it's very colorful i like how everything is short the stories are short so it gave us the opportunity to just add on to uh, what we are learning already so I, I have a few books that i purchased to go along with this program so i hope it'll work well for us next subject that'll go well with our history and that we would like to get a little bit more deep in will be geography i was using the rand mcnally books and this time i decided to change not because the Ram McNally was not working for us. He actually enjoyed the program, but I just wanted to change, give a, uh, a little bit of a change. So we decided to go with the 50 Estates and this is going to be from Memoria Press. I like how colorful it is this. I like as well that it has details about each estate, but everything very concentrated in a very fun way. And that's what I want to go little by little. I have other resources that I am going to be adding to the geography and other books. Let me just show you as well that I purchased the cards that will go along with the program. And now but not least, I have as well our science. Science is being working well for us. We were doing units from the good and the beautiful. My budget is a little bit tight, so I would like to uh, just keep things in a way that it'll be good for my pocket as well but as well he will have fun we've been using as well the hardcore books and it's been working for us i would like to create some units and that's what we're going to be using so we are going to be continuing with the hardcore publishers for science it's been working very well for us i am going to create some units with it as well I have other units planned and that's why I decided not to purchase anything for science. We're going to create our own units. I didn't purchase anything from any company. I decided to stop uh, with the Good and the Beautiful just because I have this book already and I think I can get a lot of material from it. So there was no reason for me to spend more money on anything extra so this is what we're going to be using for science along with other resources that i will be showing you guys in the next video so i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys enjoy seeing what we are going to be using for this coming year we are very excited i know he's going to be working very well with these programs i am happy to know that we're going to have a little bit more of time when it comes to do trips and go more to his, towards his interest and that's what I want that's why I am going to uh, plan on creating units that will work for him and it's just already he expressed things that he wants to learn more about and that's what we are going to be concentrating in I am happy that I decide to slow down on the material that we were using if you notice it's still a lot of material but it's just more concentrated on what we want to learn and what he wants to and he's interested in so i think this will work for us i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe to my channel i will see you then bye bye